Hello, and welcome back to another Gunpla review. Today we're taking a look at the Haropla Black Triharo, and yes, that is what they called it. This is a Haro, or set of Haros if you get more than one, made up to look like the Black Tristars. There's not a lot to go over in these Haro reviews, so let's just start off, as always, by taking a look at the articulation. Okay, uh, I've taken the liberty of taking Haro off of the stand, but honestly, there's not a lot of articulation going on here. You get ball joint in the shoulder, ball joint in the hand, hands don't really like to stay on because of how they're molded, but whatever. The ears can move a bit, the legs, yeah, these hands don't like staying on for some reason. Uh, Legs have a ball joint and also one on the feet, and the feet one is tight. And that's it. There's, uh, <laughs> there's really not a lot going on with these guys. Now, getting into accessories, uh, let's start off as always with a sticker sheet because this Haro actually has stickers. Not a lot of stickers, but yeah, you get the, uh, the TriStar logo for his cheek there, you get a Xeon logo there, and you get three marking stickers so you can have all three Tristars. Otherwise you just have the limbs and the base, which uh, you can actually remove the limbs. And uh, this is the 1.0 Haro, so the way you connect these hands is... Uh, not amazing. It's a little bit fiddly. I just happened to get it on the first try then. Yeah, that's more what it normally is. And you can take off the legs and just close up Harl and have him in his ball form, which is nice. And you can actually store these parts underneath. Just put the uh, the legs in here and the arms on either side. Same as all the other Haros. Aside from that, there's just a couple little extra parts. You get a, another one of these little plugs just for the bottom. Personally, I recommend not putting these in because it's really hard to get them out on the 1.0s. And otherwise, you just get a couple of leftover polycaps, which is just ball joints, but hey, they're useful for customizing, so it's nice to have them. Now, as for a quick size comparison, these Harls are always pretty small. <laughs> they're not very big, but they're also not very expensive, so makes sense. So, to wrap this review up, the Black tri -Haro is a pretty nice Haro. It is the original mold, so no opening up, but that's not really a big deal. While these Haros aren't the most articulated things, that's not really why you get them. <laughs> and I do think having all three of these together on your desk or shelf would look really nice. And I do like the clever coloring. You get black for the main body, then red in the uh, circles, <laughs> then purple on the limbs, and pink eyes, perfectly mimicking the colors of the Dom. Aside for gray, but that's not really a big deal. So if you have any interest in getting the Black tri or uh, all three, then I can recommend it. It's no different than any other Haro, and hey, the colors look good. But anyway, that's been all for this review. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, it helps a lot. Subscribe for future reviews and watch my backlog. Go follow me on Twitter for updates, and consider supporting me on Patreon so I can keep bringing you reviews just like this one. And as always, until next time, happy building.